The Bible says in the Gospel of Mark, chapter number 5, and we'll begin our reading in verse 25. The Bible says, And a certain woman which had an issue of blood twelve years, and had suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all she had, and was nothing better, but rather grew worse. When she heard of Jesus, hmm, came in the press behind him and touched his garment. For she said, If I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. For the next little bit, I want to preach on this topic, just touching God. Just touching God. You pray when I pray. Father, Lord, once again, we bow before Thee this morning, Lord, in the lovely name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And Father, we ask You today, Lord, as the psalmist prayed before us, Lord, would You open up the ears of heaven, God, and would You hear our cry? And Lord, would You be merciful to us? And Lord, would You send this morning exactly what we need? God, I pray You'd move me out of the way, and Lord Jesus Christ, the dear Lamb, Lord, would be lifted up and edified and glorified. God, I pray this morning, Lord, you'd feed the sheep of thy pasture. God, I pray if it'd be one here lost undone this morning, Lord, that, Lord, you'd just commission the sweet Holy Ghost to go by them and touch and reveal yourself to them. Lord, that they could understand that you truly are the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh to the Father except by thee. And, Lord, I pray this morning, God, would you just help us, uh, Lord, just uh, indwell in us. God, Lord, may this place be a holy place this morning, uh, Lord, that you... May get all the glory, and thy word may not return forward. For we ask it in Jesus' name, and all God's people said, Amen. You may be seated this morning. When, when you get to the text in which we have read this morning, you'll find Jesus had to return uh, across the Sea of Galilee. And, and upon his return, something happened and transpired. Uh, oh, listen, there was a, hey, there was a ruler, Jairus, uh, of the Sarigons that had came uh, to Jesus. Uh, uh, Jairus being uh, responsible for the uh, supervising the worship. Uh, he had besought Jesus that his daughter laid a dying in Jesus. Uh, he was trying to compel Jesus to go with him uh, to help him out of the situation that he was facing. Uh, oh, can I say uh, uh, Jesus being who he was and, and the willingness of his heart and, and his desire to reveal himself uh, to Jairus uh, uh, with him holding the position that he held within the Sayagon. Uh, hey, Jesus kindly was willing to go with Jairus. Can I say this morning, if I can get your attention just for a little bit, uh, regardless where you are in life, uh, regardless where you're walking, regardless of what you're going through, regardless of your statue uh, or your place with Christ, there is still a God today that loves you and cares for you. And can I tell you this morning, He's willing to walk with you if you're willing to be sought Him. So here we find Christ. He's on the mission uh, uh, that the Father has placed upon him. Uh, and in his travels, something happens uh, that caught my eye. It seemed very interesting to me that here is Christ. Uh, he's on a mission to do something, to accomplish something in someone else's life. Uh, and here comes one that has another condition. Any good to know that God can multitask? Any good to know that God can do more than just one thing at one time? Uh, Any good to know that God knows your mind? Uh, he knows your situation. Uh, he knows my mind and He knows my situation. Uh, Any good to know that we have a God uh, that has the understanding and the ability uh, to comprehend all that has been confronted with Him? Oh, can I say this morning, uh, oh, listen, uh, hey, he's on his way, uh, hey, to heal, to arise. Uh, oh, look here, Jairus' daughter, and can I just stop and say and get ahead of myself? He did. Yeah, right. 
But in the meantime, something happened. Uh, here come one with a condition. Uh, oh, can I say this one had come with a condition? Uh, I see she was a woman with an issue of blood. Uh, oh, very quickly, can I say she'd suffered 12 years. Uh, uh, she'd spent all that she had. Uh, hey, she just got worse and worse. Uh, oh, no help from the doctors. Uh, no relief from the pain, uh, from the troubles, from the worries. Uh, oh, can I tell you, all oh, her time uh, was no more than just a breath broken heart can I say listen to me listen to me she she had a condition can by way of introduction can I say all of us have conditions in our life they may be different conditions but all of us have conditions in our life can I tell you there's a God who cares there's a God who can help. He understands. He already knows our conditions. And oh, can I say this woman, uh, hey, she had an issue of blood. Uh, oh, and, she, and something transpired within her. Uh, oh, can I say in verse 27, the Bible says, uh, when she heard of Jesus. I wonder this morning how, uh, hey, this woman uh, that spent all she had, uh, hey, listen, she went all to all the physicians. Uh, uh, listen, she had, had lived with her heartaches and her pain and her trouble. And yet, uh, listen to me, during this time, she was willing to progress, uh, hey, this name uh, called Jesus. Uh, oh, listen to me. Uh, hey, she no doubt had picked up uh, on a conversation of what people were saying, uh, what they were revealing, uh, what was real in their life uh, and something had affected this woman so much uh, the Bible says when she heard of Jesus oh listen to me she had a condition but can I say uh, hey listen to me she had heard someone's conversation See, listen, she, she had to hear other people talking about uh, this Nazarene, uh, uh, the son of the carpenter, are you with me? Uh, uh, they had to, uh, somewhere across the line, uh, oh, in her pain and in her heartache, uh, oh, she had to have a sin, uh, very intensive fear to be listening to what was going on around her. She had to hear someone talking about Jesus. She had to hear about a conversation. Uh, oh, listen to me, the conversation's up. I don't know. I wrote down. Uh, uh, maybe they, she heard him talking about his healing, uh, how he can solve all your problems. Right. Right. Oh, can I tell you, the dear Lamb of God can still heal all sure. our problems. Yeah. Oh, maybe they was talking about just his very goodness. Uh, how he had no anger at nobody. Uh, how he had no grief with nobody. Oh, that he just loved everyone everywhere that he went. And he expelled. He was an example of that love. It could have been just his goodness. Or it could have been the blessings. Uh, oh, listen to me. That grace. Uh, oh, that is sufficient. Uh, that grace uh, that was straight forth. Uh, that grace uh, for every day, for everyone. How oh, can I say uh, she had heard of the conversation of others? Can I just stop and say, uh, I don't know who you're around. Uh, I don't know who you're close to. Uh, but can I tell you, they're listening. They're listening. They're listening to what you're saying. They're listening to way, the way you're talking. They're listening to what's in your heart. Uh, they're watching you. And they're paying attention uh, to what we say. Uh, oh, even from the Word of God, this woman. Uh, and can I tell you, there's a world out there that's lost and undone. Uh, they in pain. They got issues of themselves. Uh, oh, can I tell you, they need something. Uh, and I wonder what they're hearing from you. And I wonder what they're hearing from me. They're listening to our conversations. Can I say, uh, uh, even in her condition with the issue of blood, can you just imagine the thoughts in the life of this dear lady? The things that she was up against that she could not fix. Can you imagine living every day of your life begging and pleading and researching for a way to get out of the condition that you're in? 
And then you hear the conversation of the people around you. And you know something? Their, congress, their conversation gave her a little glimmer of hope. Are you listening to me? See, it's some people out there, all they need is just a little bit of glimmer of hope. Hope. They don't need much. They just need a little encouragement. They just need to learn something positive. They just need to, something that will get their attention. Can I say, she heard all the people's conversation. It made me stop and think, Pastor. What is people hearing J.D. say? What are they hearing you say? Oh, it's people all around us that's got issues. Uh, oh, they got conditions. Uh, oh, they need to know the God that we claim we know. Uh, and oh, we ought to have so much in us. Uh, oh, that is bubbling up. Somebody say, yes, I'm hyper. Yes, I get up. Uh, yes, I'm going to act like I'm on crack. But I love Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Say amen. As the great apostle Paul said like this, I am whom I am. By the grace of God. Someone say amen. Oh, listen to me. Hey, she heard somebody's conversation. I want my conversation to be positive. I want it to be exciting. I want it to be able to get someone's attention. Someone say amen. I want to be that example. I want to be that testimony. I want to be that witness that edifies and glorifies Jesus Christ and expels His love in my life and what He's done for me. Oh, I want my conversation to be what Christ wants it to be. Oh, listen to me. Not only that conversation that you heard. Uh, oh, can I say, I wrote in my notes, uh, our words are either helpful or they hurtful. Come on, say amen. Can I just stop and say this very quickly? We're too close to the finish line. <laughs> I said we're too close to the finish line. Oh, listen to be hurtful. Say amen. Honey, we're getting ready to step out to step in. Somebody say amen. Oh, you listen to listen to me. Hey, we look. Oh, I'm chasing a rabbit. Huh? Oh, when we get to looking uh, at all this stuff that's going around us uh, and how it's affecting us uh, and how it's changing our life, Brother Ray. Uh, oh, listen to me, honey. The Bible says when you see these things are happening, look up. Your redemption draw nigh. Somebody say amen. Whoa, I'm beginning to feel something now. Say amen. Oh, listen. Listen to me, child of God. We don't have time to have a hurtful conversation. We don't have time for that. Oh, we need to be in an encouragement in hell. Oh, listen, what else happened? Uh, oh, listen to me in verse 27. It says, when she heard of Jesus, uh, she came. Listen to me. The, their conversation... In her condition, she heard a conversation that affected her so much that she was willing to come. Say amen. She was willing to come. Oh, her conversation, it affected her so much. Oh, listen to me. The doctors couldn't help her. Her wealth couldn't help her. She spent all she had. She made up her mind through the conversation that she was going to come to Jesus. She says, I'm going to come and see if I can just touch. The one everybody's talking about. Are you listening to me? Maybe things are not functioning the way we want them to. We're not seeing revival. and We're not seeing a touch of God. We're not seeing the move of God. Maybe uh, we're not seeing God revealing Himself in the way we're designed. It's because, listen, our conversation is keeping them from coming. Come on. Listen to me. Hey, the Bible says what she heard, uh, it energized her. Hey, it encouraged her. It gave her strength. Uh, she gave a little glimmer of hope. Uh, there was a little light at the end of the tunnel. Somebody said, man, she said, trouble may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Somebody said, man, oh, listen to me. She made up her mind. She was going to see if she could touch Jesus. She says, I'm going to find out if their conversation is as good as they say it is. See, we got to talk so much that people say, well, you know what? I just don't believe all that's true. 
And we got to be the same about every day of our life. Because, see, if we show them something different day, day in and day out, they stay confused. Say amen. Oh, listen to me. If we keep on showing them, oh, listen, she said, I'm going to come. Uh, she said, I'm going to see if uh, uh, their conversation is as good as they say it is. And, and you know what she said? She says, I'm not going to go the way they went. Come on, like y'all with me, Sammy. Look, 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 there's verse 27. Uh, uh, listen to me. She says, and when she heard, uh, uh, when she heard uh, of Jesus, she came, uh, uh, she came in by the press. Listen to me. What's that next word? Behind. She, she didn't walk in like you and I would have. She wouldn't have walked in. She wouldn't have wanted to be up front stage. She wouldn't have been, she didn't want to be noticed. She says, if I can just come from the backside. Uh, she said, if I can just sneak in. Uh, oh, she said, if I can just get close enough to him. Uh, she says, I don't need nobody to pay any attention to me. Uh, she said, I want everybody's eyes on him. Uh, that way, maybe I can get close enough to him. Uh, oh, that I might be able just to touch him and see if their conversation is good enough to heal the condition that I got because I came to check it out. Are you listening to me? Oh, listen, she said, I'll just come in the back side a little bit. Uh, she says, I don't have to go in the front side. Oh, can I tell you something, child of God, this morning? Oh, if we our conversation, uh, listen to me, will help them to get them to come. Honey, it ain't about the way they come. It's about the way they leave. Oh, listen to me. Listen to me. She came in a different way maybe than you and I would have tried to get to Jesus. Isn't it good that you can come any way you want to? Say amen. You can come looking any way you want to look. Say amen. Oh, listen to me. Uh, hey, Jesus' arms is wide open to all of them that are coming to him. Say amen. Oh, to them that are reaching, try to find him uh, and, and find him uh, and touch him in their life. Uh, listen to me. It's not about the way they come in. It's about the way they leave. Say amen. Oh, listen, she came. Uh, why? Because of her condition and their conversation. Uh, oh, listen to me. She came. Uh, look with me at verse 27 once again. And look what she says. And touched his garment. Look with me at verse 30. You with me? Say amen. And Jesus immediately knowing uh, in himself that the virtue had gone out of him. Oh, honey, let me tell you something. Uh, whoops, say amen. Uh, oh, can I tell you something this morning? Uh, hey, she had a condition. Uh, she was down on life. Uh, she was down on herself. Uh, she may have been going through a hard time. Uh, oh, troubles and trials and tribulations of this world. Uh, she didn't have nowhere to turn. Uh, she didn't spend all she had. Y'all with me say amen. Uh, oh, listen to me. You could say she had her back up against the wall. Maybe like somebody here today uh, oh struggling and trying to comprehend why you're in what you're in uh, oh here was one uh, hey listen she, she might have just been at the point of throwing the towel in oh she heard someone's conversation and, and the conversation of the others uh, the Holy Ghost worked through somebody say amen uh, in compelling her uh, to come uh, to Jesus and when she come to Jesus uh, she said I'll just come in the back side no, can I tell you, I believe God opened up the door. Say amen. Uh, oh, listen to me when she came in that back door. And the Bible says uh, when she just touched the edge. <laughs> Whoop, somebody say amen. Uh, I mean to tell you uh, all she was trying to do. Y'all with me, shake your head. You won't say amen. Uh, oh, listen to me. Hey, she just wanted to get close enough that the tip of her fingers uh, could touch the tip of his garment. And you know what? I don't know if she crawled. Uh, I don't know how she done it. Uh, oh, but she had. She was determined enough that that when she come, she come to get what she came for. And can I tell you this morning, you're going to get what you come for if you really reach out and just want to touch the hem of his garment. Oh, but can I tell you, uh, oh, when contact was made, somebody say amen in the house of God. When contact was made, oh, can I tell you, uh, when the Holy Ghost of God uh, dropped down out of heaven and it set up at Emmanuel Baptist Church, somebody say amen. Whoa! When that contact was made, oh, let me tell you, when that contact... Oh, she said, uh, I'm going to paraphrase for something. She says, uh, she says uh, immediately, uh, immediately, she was made whole. 
But let me tell you what happened. <laughs> I'm about to die to tell you. <laughs> let me tell you what happened. Oh, listen, when contact was made, not only did she know, but he knew. Yeah. Oh, can I tell you, Jesus said, uh, Jesus felt, uh, are you with me this morning? Say, Jesus felt the virtue uh, pull right out of him. Uh, oh, let's, let's talk about that. Uh, you want to just a little bit? Uh, let's see. Uh, hey, there's the mob. Uh, there's the religious crowd. Uh, there's the followers of Jesus. Uh, there's the ones in the Savior guns. Are you with me? Say amen. Oh, you would think, uh, oh, that someone touching the hem of his garment, uh, he would have known anybody touched him. Oh, but when that woman touched him, whoop, say amen. Oh, when she touched him, when she reached out, oh, two things happened. Oh, look with me in verse 29. You read me? And look at me. She said, straightway of the foundation of her blood, what? Dried up. Look what happened to her. And she felt in her body. Are y'all with me? I'm going somewhere. Say Amen. She felt in her body that she was healed of that place. In other words, I didn't, I didn't got it down here, but it was complete. Say amen. Yeah. Oh, listen to me. Look what, look, look what else happened. Look with me, verse number 30. And Jesus immediately knowing within himself that the virgin had gone out of him. Listen to me. Hey, not only hey, did she know uh, that her problems were solved, but Jesus knew who touched him. Oh, he knew contact had been made. Why did I, I, I wondered in my mind and, and my thoughts, uh, why did Jesus uh, uh, know about that touch? Surely everybody was flocking Jesus. Everybody wanted to be around Jesus. Everybody wanted a little touch of Jesus. Say hey, amen. But that touch was a different touch. Oh, when she made contact with the dear Lamb of God, uh, oh, can I tell you that contact, uh, oh, listen to me, Jesus knew that it was a real touch. Jesus knew that there was one in that crowd, uh, oh, in that multitude that was uh, flocking him, that Jesus knew that there was one uh, hey, that touched him, uh, hey, that was real, uh, it was for sure, uh, it was sincere, uh, it was for a reason, it was wanting to get close to him and know about him, she just wanted to feel Jesus, can I tell you, it's been a whole lot of things uh, hey, happening in the ministry, uh, in services all over this country, uh, oh, but can I tell you, it's a whole lot of people who say they get in contact but they never connect with Jesus that's the reason you pray the same old thing over and over and over and over and you never see no result of your prayers because see it's been a whole lot done been a whole lot said but there ain't no contact no contact no contact see when she made contact first the Bible says she knew it I believe she acted like JD can't you imagine her getting a smile on her face say amen can't you just imagine her getting up Say amen in the house of God. It's good in here. Say amen. Oh, you listen to me. Hey, Bible says she knew within herself. Uh, hey, let me ask you a question. When we come uh, to the sanctuary of God and, and we're coming, I hope you're coming. I hope you're coming to get something from God. Please don't come to be seen. Come to get something from God. Oh, this is the holies of holies. This is where you come to get fed of something to God. All oh, that you can leave different than you came. This is where you come to get filled up and bubbling over. A full excitement, a full of joy. All oh, that you might go outside and be on the front of the firing line. How oh, can I say when it made contact, she knew it. When you're trying to get in touch with Jesus, do you know it? Let me just use myself as an example very quickly and I'll move on. A whole lot of times I just do things in ritual. You say you're the preacher, yeah, and I'm honest too. I just am who I am. Say amen. He already knows it, so it doesn't matter what other people know. Say amen. My job is to get God's people closer to Him. Say amen. 
My job is to make you like me. My job is to get you like him more, love him more. Sometimes I just pray in rituals. Same old thing, say amen. Go down the road feeling pretty good about myself because I said my prayers this morning. Did my little devotion this morning. I feel pretty good about myself. But let me ask you something. Was it any contact? Was it any contact? You know, you, you, you know I, believe it's, I believe it's happened in a Christian life. Uh, when it's contact made, you'll feel it from your feet to the top of your head. Say amen. I believe them bumps will run up your back and your legs, back up your back, and you'll act like me. Somebody say amen. Uh, oh, listen to me, listen to me. Well, hey, listen to me. She felt it within her. When was the last time that you got on your face uh, and tried to connect and hey, make contact with Jesus and know you got up with contact? When was the last time? Uh, oh, church, you know what? We need to be praying. We need a touch of God. We need a stirring of God. We need God to set up within the services. Oh, can I tell you? It affected her so much. Uh, Jesus said, uh, uh, Jesus said, the virtue went out of me. He, she said, she was so real. Hey, she was so true. Uh, hey, she was on a mission. Uh, she succeeded. Uh, hey, she got to me. And I'm so happy that it's one uh, amongst this crowd that really needs me. really needs me. He said, the virtue went out of me and I got a hairy. Oh, listen to me. Look with me at verse number 32. And the Bible says, uh, when the virtue came out of him, look what he said. Look what he said. Look with me. Just go back to verse 30. He says, and Jesus immediately knowing uh, hey, in himself that the virtue had gone out of him, turned. Uh, whoop, man, it was so good it turned him. Say amen. Oh, y'all y'all ain't getting it, are you? Yeah, it's going to come over your head. Say amen. Surely if it's written, that preacher can get it. You can Unto God, he said the virtue went out of him and it moved Jesus. Uh, I'm talking about God himself so much. Uh, the Bible says that he turned. You think revival didn't set up in that place? Honey, when it turned God, uh, oh, can I tell you, God's looking for some of his people uh, uh, to make contact with him uh, uh, so much uh, and so real uh, that he's willing to turn and look our way. Say Amen. Oh, listen, it turned him. Oh, listen, and Jesus immediately, uh, hey, knowing within himself that the virtue had gone out of him, turned about in the press and said, who touched my clothes? He even knowed where he got touched that somebody is. Say amen. Oh, look, and look, verse number 30. And he said, he looked around. Wow, I like that. And he looked around about to see her that had done this thing. You know what I, you know what I wrote down right there, Pastor? It's not your thought, it's mine. Jesus' concern. Are y'all listening to me? Jesus' concern. He knew somebody made contact. He knew somebody was real. Are you with me? And the Bible says when he felt the virtue go out of him. Are you with me? The Bible says that Jesus himself, God himself, turned and he began to look. Can't you imagine all them apostles standing there and God asked them, said, who touched me? Can't you just imagine that? I can see them. They, I, I'm sure, I'm sure that they'd probably answer more, probably more intelligent than me, but I could just say, what are you talking about? Who touched you? Everybody's touching you. Come on, say amen. Everywhere we go, they all over top of you. How do we know who touched you? How do we know who's beating on you? What are you talking about? Can't you just imagine Jesus revealing to them and saying, no, they're just touching to be touching. Somebody really touched me. Somebody really, really touched me. Moved me. The virtue had come out of me. And he come out of him so much that he turned him. And he began to look around. You see the concern of Christ on who touched him. Can I tell you something this morning? Regardless where we had, regardless what we've done, regardless what we're going to do, there's a Jesus today that is still concerned about you and I and this world. Say amen. Uh, oh, honey, this thing ain't over just yet. Uh, the trump ain't sound. Uh, the vineyard's still widening the harvest. Somebody say amen. Oh, listen to me. It's not time to give up. It's not time to stop up. It's time to listen to me. Hey, look here to reach out and just touch Jesus. Somebody say amen. Oh, the, you see the concern. Oh, look with me. Oh, look with me. Verse 27. The Bible says, and when she heard these, uh, heard of Jesus, she came in from the press behind and touched his garment. Look with me. Verse 29. 
And straightway, uh, the foundation of her blood dried up, and she felt in her body, uh, uh, let's see, that she was healed of the plague. What do you say? I, I see the cleansing. Somebody say amen. Uh, oh, listen to me. By that touch, she was made whole. Uh, uh, cleanse her problems gone. Uh, uh, just one contact with God. Can I tell you? Jesus has got all your answers. Say amen. Regardless what you had going on in your life, Jesus has your answer if you'll just make contact with him so he can show you his concern. Say amen. Uh, oh, listen. Verse 31. Uh, i got to move along. Uh, this is what it says. Uh, and his disciples said to him, Thou seest this multitude throning thee? Uh, I told you. Say amen. Uh, and thou sayest, uh, uh, and, and sayest thou, who touched me? Uh, are you with me? Say amen. Look at verse 33. And, but the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what she uh, had done in her, she came and she fell down before him and told him all the truth. You know what I see? I see a change. Uh, <laughs> See, the first time, she came in her way. She came in from behind. You could say she snuck in. You remember how, you, well, maybe not y'all, but just me, okay? I remember when I, hey, uh, y'all so holy, <laughs> say amen. Uh, oh, listen to me, I can remember, uh, hey, many, many years ago, uh, how when I began to have to go to church because my son, which is in heaven, uh, oh, listen to me, uh, I had to go watch a little play. Uh, I had to go do this. I had to go that. I didn't a bit more want to be in that church uh, and a man in the moon, say amen. I had other things on my mind. Uh, my eyes was focused somewhere, Brother Jordan, uh, I had some other things to do like he taught on this morning. Uh, I thought this morning sitting over how the songs uh, and how Sunday school, how God uh, had put this upon my heart because I wanted to go somewhere else. Say amen. Uh, oh, but can I tell you, uh, I'd just come in and, and I'd sit down and I didn't want nobody to know I was there. Uh, I was want to be like a little mouse. I want to get hid. Uh, I didn't want nobody to come by shaking my hand. Uh, I didn't want nobody to ask me how I was doing. I just wanted them to leave me alone. Uh, I didn't want them to bother me. I just wanted to hurry up do their little thing let me get out that back door somebody say amen oh here I see a change oh listen to me she came in from the backside. she got to the hem of his garment oh listen to me it affected her it affected Christ and now I see when she comes before him now she comes before him she walks in the front door oh she walks down the aisle she said what I've done might not have been satisfied it might not have been pleasing it might not have been the right way oh but can I tell you Lord it was me it was me it was was me. Somebody say amen. You know what I got saved by the grace of God and I just walk in the front door. Say amen. Woo! I'm having myself a time. What are you saying, preacher? I see a change. Any child of God ought to be a change in their life. Say amen. Come on, say amen. I'll be a change in their life. I'll love God more than they love everything. I will be able to admit it. Accept it. Someone say amen. Oh, listen to me very quickly. And lastly, look with me at verse number 34. Are you with me? Look what it says. And he who Jesus said unto her. Somebody tell me what the next word said. Wow. <laughs> There's a new name written down in glory. And it's mine. Oh, yes, it's mine. Somebody say amen. Pastor told me I hadn't been called to sing earlier today amen <laughs> but I'll tell you one thing listen to me he and he said unto her Jesus and her daughter thy faith uh, have made thee whole go in peace and behold of thy faith you want know to say when I see right there in the C word child you with me see a child she come in lost undone living a life that nobody wanted to live. She had had an issue of blood for 12 years. She had, you could say she had been through some hard times. Say amen. It cost her everything she owned. Her condition wasn't good. Oh, but she heard a conversation. Through that conversation, she came. Say amen. Through her coming, she made contact. When she made contact with Christ, she felt and saw his concern. When she, when she seen his concern, there was a change. And that change was that she became a child of God. How did all this happen, preacher? How did all this go about? Because she just.
just want it to touch me. I got two questions. How many of you sitting under the sound of my voice this morning say, Preacher, I'm saved. Don't you raise your hand. Come on. You say, don't you raise your hand. From there. How many of you that raised your hand said, I'm a child of the God? Somewhere, sometime in your life, you made contact with Jesus. That's how you can sit there and say, yes, preacher, I'm saved. I wonder how many of you would raise your hand and say, preacher, I got some conditions in my life that I sure would love to touch God with. I sure would love God to intervene. I sure would love for God to help me out. I sure would love for God to bail me out of this one. Preacher, I sure am struggling a little bit. I wonder how many of you have raised your hand. Say, Preacher, I got some conditions that I need to carry with Jesus. Can I tell you this same Jesus The same Jesus that helped that woman with the issue of the blood. He's wanting to help you this morning. You know how she got help? She was willing to come. I wonder this morning how many of you that need some help from God would be willing to come and see if you can make contact so you can feel the concern so God can change things for you. Everyone stand as the pianos come. God touched your heart. People already moving. God touched your heart this morning. You, need, you got God something you need God to fix. You got a condition in your life. You need God to answer a prayer. Oh, if you need hate, maybe you got a lost loved one. Maybe, maybe you got friends family that needs Jesus oh listen why don't you come and get around this altar the reason she got an answer was because she was willing to come if you enjoyed today's message head on over to ibcforums.com and click on sermons and don't forget to check out our other links in the notes section of today's broadcast as always thanks for listening